Okay, so since I went over everything that we are going to need, I'm going to basically just get my wire all together and we're gonna go ahead and make these earrings. Alrighty, so basically what I've already done is I put some loops down the bottom at the start of my earring. I mean my, yeah, my earring, my wire. And I'm going in just to squeeze that, okay? And then what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to be making, I was trying to figure out, because these are going to be pretty much like an abstract thing. Hmm. So this is a freestyle, y'all. So this, that, that, that means it's no prototype to this. I did not recreate these. Um, y'all, this is a, this is a design that you all are seeing and I'm even seeing for the very first time because it's freestyle. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to make. So let's see here because both of these have to be pretty much the same way. And um, made my loops once again. Take my pliers and just squeeze it just like that. All right. Now, you can use whatever wire you have to create these. Um, I know somebody's going to ask me that. So, you can use whatever your wire you have. You don't have to use aluminum wire. You can use copper wire. You can use whatever wire your little heart desires, whatever you have, okay? So I guess I am going to take my round nose pliers and I'm gonna come here and bend it like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over on this side and bend it like this. So, since this is going to be a pair, I got to make sure that I make these because I'm making both of these as I go along. All right. Whenever you are doing any type of wire wrapping earrings, you want to make sure that you do them both at the same time. And my reason for that. Uh, for saying that, it's because you want to make sure that they are the same size. We, I have ran, speaking from my experience, I've ran into problems sometimes when I make an earring. I make the whole earring, and then when I go to make the second earring to match it, it's either too big, too small, or just I, sometimes the design come out to be a totally different design. So I've gotten in the habit of when I'm doing any type of wire wrapping that I make them the same, pretty much try to make them the same way, if I can, okay? I'm going to come over here and I'm going to bend that just like that. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to do something different. I'm going to pinch this up. Okay. And like I said, since I'm making a pair of earrings, I want them to pretty much be, if at all possible, the same size. I'm going to start some loops here. All right, starting loops, starting loops. Okay. When you, whenever you're doing anything that's like an abstract kind of sort of, or it's going to have an abstract feeling to it. Okay. Just something that's different. All right. 
eight. So now I have one, two, three, four, and five. And I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing. Now these um loops will probably be a different size. Now I'm just being honest with you. That's just how it is sometimes, y'all. So one, two, three, four, five. Right? So that's what I have here. That's what the both of these look like. And I'm gonna come and pinch, pinch, right? That's what it looks like. Pinch and pinch. All right, so they kind of sort of look about the same. And that's what that looks like. And I'm going to pinch one way and then the opposite way. All right. So I'm pinching like pretty much like the opposite way. So I pinch this way, and then this way, and then this way, and then this way, to give it those crooks in between. Now this itself could just be one earring, you know, one earring. I'm gonna come up to the top right here, and I'm gonna make a loop. Okay, so I'll put a loop up at the top. Okay, so you got two loops. Got that. I'm gonna squeeze all of this together. Just squeeze it in and just squeeze it in. Yep, just squeeze it, squeeze it in, because it's about to be a mess. And I'm putting this, I'm trying to get that part of it in the center. If you can get it in the center, push it down and just get it right in the center. And one of these is bigger than the other, but I don't care, because I can make it work. If I play with it a little bit more, I can push it down and they can both be the same size. Now I'm gonna do this part right here <clears throat> where I got all that right there. And I'm just gonna pull that down a little bit and flip it this way, turn it to the side because I'm going to add on my, um, my feather. So I gotta go in, squeeze this up, and then take my pliers. And then I can slide this on just like this. Okay. And then close it. All right. Okay, so that's one. I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. So this one, I'm gonna have to move it around. You might mess it up, but they abstract, so it is what it is. You just wanna bring that other part down. And I'm gonna flip it this way.
take and bring that up a little bit. Straighten it out. And then that way I can add on my feather. And then just So this is what they look like. Now I'm going to add in some fish hooks. And I did forget to mention that. And I'm going to take these off. Now these fish hooks do not match. Because I got to get me some silver wire. I said I was going to use this. But I'm just going to do this with these fish hooks. So that y'all can see what they look like. Now, if you decide to sell, make and sell anything like this, please make sure that, wait a minute, I, got, I think I got it the wrong, doing it the right way. It don't matter. Um, hope you all can see these. Like I said, I purchased the The wire, the, the aluminum wire, you can get from um, Amazon, or you can get it from Michaels, because Michaels does sell aluminum wire. Uh, I'm not sure if Hobby Lobby sells aluminum wire, but I know Amazon's, uh, Amazon sells it, Michaels sells it, Joanne Fabric sells it. Um, Okay, what y'all think? And um, if you're making these for yourself, awesome. If you make and decide that you want to make these and you want to sell these, my suggestion to you would be to make them as um, make them as stiff as possible. And you would make the way you would make these stiff is you just want to take you can hammer them. Or you can take something that's flat and just go in just like this because it's aluminum. But make sure you don't, make sure that you squeeze it with the flat part. And then you can just go in on pretty much like each piece and squeeze it to make it stiff so that it won't um, come loose, see? All right, and um, yeah. And you'll have yourself a cute pair of abstract earrings, y'all. A lot of my how to make videos are just for you to make for yourself. But like I said, if you make a decision that you wanna sell these, then you have to go um, uh, do other measures so that when people buy your stuff, it won't come apart, it will stay in place. And you make the wire stiff. When it comes to aluminum wire, because it is a soft wire, you have to use something flat. You can hammer it or just use something flat to make them stiff. So. With that being said, I want to take this time and say thank y'all so very much for joining me. And until my next upload, peace and blessings, everyone. See ya.